In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use weld, intersect, and trim. With these three tools, you can create any shape that you want. After the shape is created, it can be converted to outline stitches, to paint, to crystals, or to cut work. Now, if you listen to the editing crystal designs video, you learned how to create a blank draw file that is easy to open and that will help you bypass the wizard. To open that blank draw file, you'll place a radio dot in front of open existing. You can then browse to find that blank draw file or you can select it if it's listed in your recently opened files and click Finish. So if you have not yet created that blank file, you may want to revisit the Editing Crystal Shapes video and it, that will go over the steps needed to create that blank file. So we're going to start with the Weld tool and make a Cutwork Flower. Weld combines separate shapes into one combined shape. First, let's select the Create Ellipse tool and draw an oval by clicking and dragging on the screen. If you press the space bar, that will select the oval, and I want to center the oval in the hoop so I can change my X and Y values to zero, and the, that ellipse will be centered. If I want to reshape, I can hold down the shift key and that will reshape from center out and it, the design will still remain in the center of the hoop. Remember, if your tool options are not showing, go to View, Toolbars, and make sure Tool Options is checked. We'll reselect the design and then copy and paste the design. In the Rotate area, I'm going to enter 45 degrees, then press Enter on the keyboard. Now select Paste again, and notice when you select Paste, it goes over the original design. By going to Edit Repeat Last Transformation twice, it is going to rotate that third copy, and now I need to make one more copy. I'll select Paste again, and this time let's look at Repeat Transformation. Notice that the shortcut key is Control-R. So instead of going into the Edit menu, I can simply use the shortcut key and go Control-R and rotate it until it forms the correct angle. Look in the Sequence Manager and notice how with the paint fill, the design is, the overlaps are automatically removed. Let's select everything by going to Edit, Select All, and the Weld tool is this first tool next to the 100%. When you rest your cursor on Weld, it gives you a preview, and when you click it again, you now have that welded design. This is a painted flower right now, but if I want to make it into a cutwork flower, I simply edit through object properties. I do not want any type of fill, so I click on none. And then in the outline tab, I will change from a running stitch to a cutwork. I'll place a check mark in front of running before and change the offset to one and press enter. This is now ready to save and then send to the machine of your choice. So, File, Save As, and you'll navigate to where you want to save the design and call it Cutwork Flower and click Save. I've already created it, so I'm going to overwrite that file. Now, to get a new blank file, I can go to File Open, and in my list of recently opened files, I'll find the blank draw file. By clicking on that, I now have a clean screen to create with the Intersect tool. Intersect creates a shape from overlapping shapes, so you can draw multiple shapes and then overlap them, 
and create whatever shape you want. With this, we're going to use the circle um, again, and the Create Ellipse tool. I'll hold down the Control key this time to create a circle. Press the space bar to select it, and then copy and paste that circle. While that is selected, I'll use my arrow key and move the second circle so that it is in the, the intersect shape will be the size and the shape that I want. When I'm done moving, I'll release the key and then either edit select all or if you want to use the shortcut key, it's control A. And when I rest my cursor on intersect, again it gives me a preview of that shape. I'll click to activate that shape and drag it away from the circles. I can then draw a bounding box around my circles and press delete. And now I have a painted shape that I can create. A flower, a great tool to use uh, to create the flower would be the circular array tool. So you might want to review that video on creating a circular array. Again, saving the file, this time file save as, and I'm going to call it a painted petal design. Click on save. Once again, opening that blank screen, file open, I find my blank draw file, and the file will open to a clean screen. Again, it's a quick and easy way to bypass that wizard. The last tool that I'm going to talk about is the Trim tool. And with Trim, you can create holes in objects or you can reshape objects by removing part of the shape. The shapes must overlap either partially or entirely to do any sort of trimming. So let's create again with the circle. So choose your Create Ellipse. Holding down the control key will help me draw a perfect circle. Press the space bar to select that circle. I'm going to copy and paste again, but this time I'm going to change the color of the copy by clicking on the lower right hand corner of the paint chip. I can change the color. While the design is selected. I will hold the shift key down and resize that circle so that it is placed inside the shape. When you are selecting to trim, you will need to select the piece that is going to do the trimming first and then hold the shift key down and select the piece to be trimmed. The easiest way to do that selection is, of course, in Sequence Manager. Once I have those shapes selected, I can click on the Trim tool, and again, I get a preview of the shape the way it is going to look. When I'm ready to activate that, I click on the Trim tool. I can select the circle the red circle in this case and press delete and I now have a ring. This ring could be converted into crystals and I probably would want to do a circle shape. So I can of course edit that in any way that I want and that is the, the true of any of the tools the weld, the intersect, and the trim. After you create those shapes, they can still be edited and then converted into either crystals, stitches, cutwork, or paint.